There's hundreds of parts in there, motors and there's lenses and photocells. Most of the parts are mainly ordered mail order through out of catalogs. And some I made myself, some parts I made on my dad's lathe that he had. And of course, I used the saw and, and the soldering irons and uh, welders, things like that to, to build this thing. In high school, back in Wisconsin, I entered science fairs every year. And my last year, as a senior, I built this project. It's called a Viptron, which means visual interpretation of patterns through electronics. Basically, it was a, a lens in a box, and I call that the eyeball. And so this eyeball would look at the object, it would center on the object that, that you hold up in front of it, and then it would start tracing the outline of the object. That process produces a graph that's unique to that object and then it would be matched to other objects that I programmed into the machine. And this was done 52 years ago. Back then, there was nothing like it. It took about four months or five months to figure out a concept that would work. Once I figured out uh, the algorithm or exactly how to do it, and it took me another four or five months to build this thing. I had basically no help. I had to do it all by myself. So what I did is I cut class for two weeks straight <laughs> And I just worked on this thing round the clock, day and night. And I just gave a phony excuse like I was sick. And everybody at the high school didn't care. The nurses, they knew what I was doing. My science teachers and my other teachers knew what I was doing. When I was building the Viptron, it wasn't done yet at the high school science fair. I finished it up and the science teacher said, we're gonna let you go to the state science fair anyway. So what this machine won for me was a full tuition scholarship to Marquette. As a senior at Marquette, uh, I applied for different companies to get a job, you know. And uh, Hughes Aircraft in California here, Culver City, offered me a job. And they offered me a, a, a fellowship, actually, for um, graduate school. I accepted that and I went to USC and I, I got a, a master's in electrical engineering. My entire career was spent at Hughes Aircraft, working on similar type of projects, actually. When I built the Viptron, it was all on my own by myself. But at Hughes Aircraft, I had to work with other engineers. The projects at Hughes were so complicated and, and so involved, you, you have to work with, with a team. You have to work with teams, other people, to really be a success. It, it, it's been in storage for 50 years, and to get it to work would, would be an, a big undertaking because some of the parts have worn out, but I could get it to work if I had enough time. <laughs>